there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are doing some cleaning and organizing in mostly the kitchen, but also our master bedroom. We're gonna be reorganizing everything under the sink, which is definitely something that needed to get done, as well as just tidying up uh, different parts around here. I also have a really cool label printer to show you guys, so let's get to it. So if you guys are new here, welcome to my motherhood channel. My name is Emily. I post videos every Monday and Friday on just a variety of motherhood content. Sometimes we are cleaning and organizing like we're doing today, and other times we're doing recipes or DIYs, pretty much just anything that you can think of, I pretty much cover at some point on my channel. So if that sounds like something that you'd like to check out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Uh, I'm going to be doing a party prep video in the near future, kind of like a Halloween themed, but it will be for like a birthday party. So I'm kind of combining the two and hopefully my simple party, not as elaborate necessarily as Aubrey's fourth Elsa birthday party, but you know, I hope that it provides you guys some motivation or some ideas for a Halloween party if you guys are going to be throwing one. But let's go ahead and mop these floors. They are disgusting. And I actually really love watching the like wet floor dry in a time lapse. So that is why I include it here. Okay, so we are going to move on to organizing this mess that is under the kitchen sink. I really, you know, like obviously there are tons of products that you can buy out there. Juan just bought like these two little racks, I guess, uh, or like little portable shelves that we could put under our sink. And so I just, you know, went with whatever he picked out. I know that like a lot of people, including myself, really like the acrylic look and having everything like very simple and labeled and you know all that stuff but it's just not realistic for us to spend tons and tons of money on something like down here and so what Juan bought you know really works for us and we're happy with it so I got everything out from underneath the sink and I'm just kind of giving that area a good little wipe down and vacuum before I organize everything and throw it back in there. So one of the things I did try to do while I was organizing was just kind of keep all of the items I would use for dishes on one side, the side in this case closer to the dishwasher, and then on the right side underneath our sink I'm putting like all of the other cleaning products that I will, you know, eventually use throughout the kitchen and sometimes throughout the house, but mostly just kind of in the kitchen area. And then underneath the like sink thing, I don't really know what that's called, but we're going to be putting like a basket for my green waste and some extra bags and some other bigger cleaners that actually don't fit on the shelves that Juan bought. So it's not like, you know, a super big transformation, 
but it definitely has been working out like a lot nicer for us. And I'm really happy with how it, how it is, you know, obviously I think it'd be better if there was like half the stuff removed, but it's kind of, you know, we have limited storage in this house. So we're just going to be happy with how this is. And I'll let you guys know if I end up reorganizing sometime in the future. But while we are in the kitchen, let me go ahead and show you. This is romaine lettuce that I cut a while ago. And then I just stuck it in some water and it's starting to, you know, grow back. And since, you know, I filmed this video, it's, I've cut another one and they're just like really big. So that's something that does work. It's not just like a fake thing you see online. Definitely try growing that and get like, you know, your money's worth when you buy lettuce from the store. So now that the kitchen is nice and clean, I would like to thank Pristar for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending us this portable label printer. The charging cable, tape, and printing machine came nicely packaged, and setting up the machine was really easy. You just have to remove the backing, place the tape container in the provided space so that the tape is lined up with the opening, and remove the plastic tab that's in the back. When I replaced the backing of the printer, I didn't attach it all the way, even though I thought I did. So when I turned on the machine, it actually let me know that I needed to fix my mistake, which was pretty nice. So I made sure that the back was flush with the other piece and turned the machine on again. So I decided to make some labels for under the sink as well as a few of Aubrey's things. I really like how there are different fonts to choose from and you can customize the label to have multiple lines. You can change the font size and even add borders and icons to the labels as well. The machine has all caps as the, the default setting when you get it. And if you leave it in this setting and you want a lowercase letter, you just have to press the shift button and the letter and you'll get your lowercase letter. Or you can change the machine to write in lowercase as the default and use the shift button for uppercase letters when you need them. One of the things that I really like about this machine is that it has continuous multi-label printing, and this means that you can edit and adjust multiple labels of different styles and content before having to print them. So this helps actually save time and makes it so you don't have to program a label, press print, wait for the machine to finish, all just to work on your next label and repeat the process over and over. So you're saving time because you don't have to keep pressing print. You can just program all your labels and then print them all at once and have the machine cut them as well. So it really makes it easy so that you can you know, do what you need to do. You could let the, the machine print and go work on something else if you need it. Other cool features are clearly outlined in the provided instruction manual. And I do think it's worth mentioning that even though I do have a Cricut that I could use for labeling things, I don't think a Cricut label is always necessary or even the best labeling option. As you will see, I will be labeling Aubrey's set of preschool homeschool books using this printer. 
If I tried to do something equivalent with my Cricut, it would take a lot longer and I would likely rip the paper during the transferring of the labels anyways. So in this case, this type of printer is really preferred. Anyways, I'd like to thank Pristar again for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I will place the link to the product down below in the description box if you want to get one of these cool label printers for yourself or a loved one. Now let's go ahead and finish labeling. I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us So now that the labeling is done, we are moving on to kind of clean and vacuum and organize my bedroom. So let's go ahead and get some light in here because it's kind of dark and bleh. And we're going to start by just changing the sheets on our bed. And if you guys haven't seen how I fold sheets, you guys need to check out my little hack. I will try to find that video and link it for you guys because it saves so much space the way that I now fold sheets and I will never go back to another method. So after the bed was made, I went ahead and cleaned up Aubrey's Light Bright. We've been actually having a lot of fun with this and like doing the little templates that it comes with. And then I will be vacuuming the carpet and making those wonderful carpet lines. But that wraps up today's video. I would really like to thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content. Don't forget that you are loved and made for greatness, and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.